James Jeffries, the founder. Now, I know a lot of you are wondering, what is Game Blast and why did I create it? Well, Game Blast is a new marketplace where independent game developers can submit their games for free or sale. And it's also a social community where people can get together and talk about playing games or developing them. Why did I create it? Well, there's a few major players in the games marketplace industry. One of them is Steam. A lot of people have a problem with Steam. Yes, it's the most popular platform. But it's the most popular platform for game players, not developers. And the reason for that is Steam takes a ridiculous amount for their cut. Um, the split is typically 70-30 which 70% goes to the developers of the games and 30% goes to Steam. Which to me seems like an awful lot for a company that all they're doing is letting you put the, your game on their platform. They also do no marketing. So basically your game goes on there and you may end up in a spot on their front page, but chances are, unless you created a AAA game or a very popular indie game, chances are that's not going to happen. <laughs> and with thousands of games on Steam, it's very difficult for people to find your game. So, what happens? A lot of indie developers end up releasing games that don't make any money or don't gain popularity, simply because nobody ever sees them. Which brings me to another point. Steam isn't very well curated. So basically, Steam doesn't really have any rules as to what goes on there. Um, I mean, obviously, if you put up something that's complete and total junk, then they're probably not going to let it on, but for the most part, anybody that pays the $100 and submits a relatively complete game can have their game on Steam. So this basically leads to a flooded market, and they don't really do anything to gain players for smaller, smaller studios. So what ends up happening is the most popular games get more popular because Steam's only showing players the most popular games, which is typically AAA games. And uh, so those studios get the big bucks while the smaller independent studios are not even making minimum wage off of a project that took them months or even years to create. Not to mention, um, Steam tends to reward the multi-million dollar uh, game studios. And they do this by having a tiered split program. Well, what this means is basically if your game makes more than $10 million, then they'll knock off 5% of their split, so then Steam takes 25 instead of 30 and then you get, you know, the 75 instead of 70. And then there's another tier at $50 million, in which they knock another 5% off, and you get to take only 80%, and they get to take 20%. But to me, that is simply rewarding AAA studios for selling big and does nothing really for helping out the small studios. So really small studios get penalized for being on Steam. The only advantage is that there's so many people that play games on Steam. Then you've got good old games, GOG.com. GOG.com it's kind of in between. 
They do indie games. They do AAA games. <laughs> They're ran by another big company, uh, CD Projekt Red. And, uh, I mean, their split's the same, 70-30, just like Steam. They don't really do any advertising. And then, good old itch.io, or itch.io, or however you want to pronounce it. They're on the right track. I love their site. They're great. Um, they're all about indie developers, um, indie games, indie software. I mean, really, you can find pretty much anything you want on there, um, as long as it's game or music related. Um, but the problem is, they're also uncurated, and a lot of games that you find on there are unfinished. So, I think last time, uh, last time I looked, there was like a hundred thousand games on there, or something like that. And um, so, it's kind of really got the same problem that you have with Steam. You have a completely oversaturated environment. And uh, so the smaller studios that are trying to release complete games onto itch.io or itch.io, you know, it, it's going to be hard for them to get seen. So what I wanted to do was I wanted to create a marketplace that was well curated. Every game that comes in the Game Blast gets played. Um, every game that comes in the Game Blast gets a, a video made of it. Um, we try to do our best to market games for the smaller smaller studios. Um, that way that they can spend their time working more on what they do best, which is make games. <laughs> think of this, which, I mean, yes, there are crappy indie games out there that are ugly and have poor gameplay, but you may not have known that a lot of the most popular games around today were actually indie games. Angry Birds started as an indie game. Minecraft. One of the most popular games ever made. I actually think it might be number one. An indie game. Daisy, an indie game. So, there's kind of a stigma. There's kind of a stigma to indie games that they're, they're crappy, um, that they, they suck. And that's simply not true. A lot of the, a lot of the big games that, that we play nowadays actually were indie games to begin with. I mean, granted, now now they're tens or hundreds of million dollars strong corporations, but they started out as indie games, and that's kind of the goal. This is the overwhelming majority of indie developers live off of less than minimum wage, while you've got the big companies that are making millions and millions and millions of dollars. So, my goal was to kind of Kind of spread the wealth a little bit. I want to bring attention to the indie game scene as a whole. And basically allow a uh, allow the, the wealth to get spread out a little bit. It's sad to see people put so many hours and days and weeks and months and years into something and not be able to make a living off of it. Um, I mean, a lot of people spend more time um, working on these games than they do at jobs simply because they love it. And uh, I'm a firm believer that you should be able to do what you love for a living. Be able to live off of it, so that's that's kind of my that's kind of my goal with Game Blast. Um, now, Epic Epic created a new store recently too, and they're doing a really good job um, with some stuff. Um, they're offering.
offering advances to game studios. Um, they're offering uh, exclusive offers um, so that basically they sign on a game company and they release their game specifically for Unreal, Unreal's game store or Epic Game Store. Um, they've also got a fund to, uh, to help out developers. Um, I think they put away $100 million of uh, money that was brought in from Fortnite. And it's a hugely popular game. Um, and so it's, it's nice to see them reinvesting back into the, the game community. And uh, I really applaud Epic for that. But there's still plenty of work to do. And that's, that's my goal. That's what I'm out to do. So, keep an eye on Game Blast. And, um, I mean, it's a long road ahead um, to get us up and running the way I want us to be. But, um, I'm working on it every day. So, keep an eye on us. And we hope to have more stuff for you coming up in the near future. So, let's watch out.